All right, let's see if we can hit one. Think it's gonna be a little long? Little bit. Okay, I'm Mike Sullivan, and today I'd like to talk to you about how helpful it can be if you have good control of your club face and how important it is to have a relatively square club face throughout the course of your swing. Okay, here we go. So the shot that I just hit was, it looked pretty good up on the screen. Uh, it did just trickle over the green, but one of the problems is, or was on this shot, is that my face was six degrees closed to my path, and my path is also six degrees to the right of the target, okay? Um, the problem with that is, with a pitching wedge, which, which was the club that I hit here, because there's so much loft on the club, you don't see a lot of curvature to the ball, but had that been a driver, that would have been a really bad hook with the driver. So I want to have more control with my club face. And, and this is something that's really great if you've got a simulator, if you've got a launch monitor, even a launch monitor that's not too expensive, you can find ones that show you the feature of the club face in the path. Uh, so let's, let's talk about this. So if I were to stand straight up and just turn my shoulders, you can see, and I'm going to get where you can maybe see better. So my toe of my club is straight up. If I go like this, see the angle of my club face? It matches the angle of my spine. Well, when I bend down to hit a golf shot, if it stays matching my spine, then at this position where the club is parallel to the ground, this club face would be square, okay? So when I, when I set up to my shot, that's pretty much a club face that is square relative to the arc I'm going to be swinging on, okay? That's a great check you can do with any club in your bag to see if your club is square. The question you wanna ask yourself is, does the angle of my club face match my spine tilt, okay? Now, if your club face is just a little bit this way, a little more like that, probably not a big deal. If it's a little bit closed, probably not a big deal. But if it's way off, it's going to be a big deal. So if you're really struggling with consistency uh, in general in your golf swing, the first thing you want to do is you want to take a look at what, what you look like right here. Okay? Um, we've got drills and videos about swing plane. So... I'm not going to get into that too much, but we also want the club, when it's here, the shaft to be about parallel to your target line. Okay, so just being able to get your club face fairly square coming back is a huge advantage. Notice when this club comes back, my hands stay underneath my chest. You don't see a lot of this happening. Okay, you don't see a lot of this happening. My hands are fairly quiet, and they're just swinging underneath my shoulders. Okay? that's going to make it a lot easier to get the club in the right position right here. And this is, where, this is where you can see if your face is square. So a great drill to do to help you with this club face, just take the club back here. Watch it all the way going back so the club is pretty much on plane and the face is pretty much square. Look back at the ball and just hit your shot from here. It's going to feel awkward because there's not a lot of momentum and there's not a, sh a pressure shift or anything. But just try it. Get here, and I'm just going to hit a little shot. Okay? We didn't get the screen to react because I didn't hit it hard enough. But hit little shots like that so you can get used to the feeling of that face being square to the arc instead of if you open it, you're probably making some sort of a compensation on the way down. So take it here, and then just hit it. Okay? Once you get that part down... Then you can go ahead, start off the same way, but then give yourself a little shift back and a shift through. Okay? So that's just helping me get a feel for the drill and getting a feel for starting that downswing with my face square. So take a look here. So that last shot I hit, my face was 3.7 close to the path and my path was 3.9 in to out. Now here's something that's really amazing. Remember that first shot that I hit? 
I was like about six degrees, my face was about six degrees close to the path, and my path was about six degrees in and out. So it's amazing how if your club face is closed, you're gonna tend to swing the club more in and out. And for me, if my face tends to be closed like two or three degrees, I tend to swing the club two or three degrees out to the right. So remember before I said, by the way, if I was out to in, if my face was open, I'd probably swing out to in about an equal amount. So why is that not okay? The ball go, ends up going pretty straight. It's not okay because as the clubs get longer, so let's say you're hitting a driver, as the clubs get longer and the loft comes off that club, what happens is the spin axis on the ball will tilt more at a given club face and you're gonna hook it or slice it a lot more. So basically, if you hit a shot with your pitching wedge with a six degree shut face and it draws five yards, well that six degree shut face with your driver, it's going to hook a mile left. So we wanna habitually have a club face that is closer to square. We don't want it to be really open and we don't want it to be really closed. Okay, so let's hit a shot and let's see what we get. I'm probably biased one way or the other, open or closed. Let's just hit one. I'm going to try to hit this with a square face. Okay, so I really tried to hit that ball thinking square face all the way through. My face was closed 4.4. And see my path is in to out, 3.7. So when I'm trying to swing the club with a square face, I'm hitting it with a closed face. So I'm going to, on purpose, try to hit this ball with an open face. So I'm not going to change the way I take the club back. I'm just going to try to make contact with the toe of the club trailing the heel. Okay? So I'm going to try to hit this with an open face. Let's see what we get. So I tried to have a face that was open. It was still three shots. <laughs> okay? It was a good shot. I'll take the shot. So feel is not real. So when I feel like my face is square, it's shut. Try it again. More open. And in a minute, I might try even feel like, feeling like I'm opening the, the club face on my takeaway a little bit. More open. So I'm going to let that toe trail the heel. There we go. Well, no. Half a degree closed still. And I pushed it a little bit, all right? So just a couple things we got to get out of here. Lauren's got a lesson coming in. But um, number one, we've got to be able to get started with the club face fairly square. So we're not making these swings that are trying to compensate for an open club face. Then number two is once we get pretty good at taking the club back square, let's see what we tend to do. Do we tend to have an open face or a closed face? and then work on just trying to do the opposite, all right? So for me right now, I'm gonna to try to hit balls where I'm always feeling like that face is a little bit open. All right, one more. Let's hit one more shot. Oh, look at that. So my face was one, one closed. My path was good. My path was actually 0, 0.0. So we will take that. That was a pretty good shot. Still miss the green though. You gotta have a short game. Hope that helps. I'll see you next time.